We're, we're on, on uh, Southeastern Avenue, uh, not too far from college in downtown Indianapolis, and we're at the Safety Order Glass Building, and on the roof is a race car that's about to come down, and it's been up there basically since 1961. Uh, as a new car in 1954, it was the Jones and Maley Special, and uh, Jones and Maley was a DeSoto and Plymouth dealership uh, in the 2400 block of East Washington. And the car ran in the race, through, was in the 500 in 54 through 57. Uh, it finished second in 56 with Sam Hanks driving. In, in 54, there's a little bit of trivia about it, Bill Holmeyer finished 33rd and he was eliminated in a, in a pit stop incident at 74 laps and he got 33rd and it remains to this day as the longest, greatest distance ever covered by a car which finished last. Anyway, Sam Hanks drove the car in 55 and 56. In 56, uh, he, got, he got second and he came tantalizingly close to winning because Pat Flaherty, the winner, the throttle linkage broke just after he'd taken the checkered flag. So if that had happened a, a lap earlier, this would have been the winning car. Uh, Bob Christie drove it in 57, and then the Jones and Maley people decided that they wanted to get a newer car because this was four years old, and so they sold it to another group of Indianapolis businessmen, one of whom was Bob Perkins, who was the proprietor of the Safety Order Glass building. And uh, so the partners ran it as the Safety Order Glass special, and they ran it at the track four years, but they could never get it in the race. Uh, they even tried the, the, uh, the Hoosier 100 one year, it missed the show there. The only start they ever had was in a 100 mile race at the Daytona International Speedway in 59, the only time the USAC championship cars ever went there. And uh, its career basically uh, came to an end when Bill Randall was uh, trying to qualify in 1961. He spun and he backed it into the wall. And they finally decided, they said, look, we haven't made a nickel off of this car. Let's retire it. And, uh, and uh, Bob Perkins says, we'll just put it on the roof of my business. So they did that. And uh, except for just a very brief period a few years ago when I think they were doing something with the roof, the cars remained on the, the roof ever since. In uh, February of 1964, it blew off one night. There was a, 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 a very windy night and a gale blew it off the roof and it landed on the sidewalk. And uh, the newspaper uh, have uh, photographs to uh, substantiate that. And so they just simply, Bob Perkins said, we got a cherry picker and put it back up on the roof. Uh, Bob Perkins passed away several years ago, but his son, Steve Perkins, still owns the business and the car, or at least he did until a couple of days ago. And uh, so we're about to now have the ceremonial removing after all these years, this great landmark. A lot of people are sad to see this happen because uh, it's, it's just been here for over 50 years. <laughs> But it's coming down, uh, Chris Paulson and Gary Schroeder have uh, made the purchase and they are going to do a restoration which is going to require quite a bit of work. Uh, the, the frame is good, the body's not in very good condition, it doesn't have any running gear. But uh, they're going to do what they need to do and get it running and I don't know if it'll be uh, two years, three years, but they're going to restore it as the Jones and Maley special as it finished second in 54 with Sam Hanks, in 56 rather with Sam Hanks. My, uh, my friend Gary Schroeder and I started talking to Steve Perkins, the owner of the car and safety auto glass, uh, about a year ago May. Uh, John Fugate uh, basically hooked us up with Steve and Steve was ready to sell the car. He's, he's had several offers over the years and, and uh, the time just wasn't right for him, I believe. And, and luckily for us, uh, the time was right. So uh, I think the reason he had a lot of confidence in us is the fact that we're a local Indianapolis business here and he can come by and watch the restoration. Uh, the car's got great historic significance. It, it's really got two lives, if you will. Uh, as the, the Jones Maley car, it finished second at the Indianapolis 500 with Sam Hanks in 1956. Uh, the car was a test car for Curtis. So Bill Vukovic actually ran the car and tested. It's had a lot of great drivers, Bob Christie, uh, a lot of the good guys over the years. The car actually ran at Daytona the one year that IndyCar ran there. So 
Uh, the lineage of the race car history wise is very, very good. It's a, it's a Curtis 500C. And then it's, his second life was uh, when Mr. Perkins actually, after the crash in 61, the car crash qualifying in 1961, decided to take the running gear out and put it on the roof of his business, uh, the safety auto glass business. So it became a landmark there. It went up in 1961, been up there for 51 years. Uh, many, many people in Indianapolis has, has driven by and seen this. Myself as a kid back in the 60s, I remember coming by to, to see the, the roadster on the roof, if you will. And so it's been a, been a very good landmark for all these years. We'll take the car and turn it back into its original condition and it'll be very pristine when we're done and, and definitely period correct and totally authentic. So uh, if it was 1956, I, I can guarantee you we'd be able to run it through tech and, and put her in the race. So it should, should be a good project. We would absolutely love to bring it to Indianapolis Motor Speedway uh, during the vintage events. And that's a great thing about Indy. You know, they're, uh, they're very good with the vintage groups and and uh, certainly appreciate the history, which is, is very, very important. You know, the, the track's 100 years old, over 100 years old now, and, and uh, luckily the folks at the Speedway certainly love to see these things happen, and, and uh, they're, they're very, very proud of the tradition and the history.